Hello, and welcome to the general search tutorial for the functioning of the Carpenter Technology uh, Tech Center. Uh, the subject here is to uh, describe some of the features of the general search. Uh, these searches are available without registration for the site. Uh, you can click either here for the general search, or you can select it from the left-hand list of menu items here. Uh, so if we click on the general search, you'll see the uh, the types of searches that are available. Uh, the alloy name search, uh, which will be the subject of this tutorial. There's also a featured product search, which is a uh, changing list of uh, currently featured or new products. The technical properties, the typical property search, uh, which will be a subject of a future tutorial. So come back later and check that out. Uh, you could also go directly to the uh, technical articles library. Uh, but uh, the subject of this particular tutorial is the alloy name search. Uh, it's the most popular search and most widely used of the search features on the site. And it's basically looking up a material just based on the name. Uh, it is a text string match type search, so uh, you have to get an exact match, so it's always better to put in uh, less information, as it uh, shows here on the, uh, the little hint. So if we're going to look, say, for uh, 316 stainless, if we just put in the number 316, uh, we will get uh, all options there and not have to be uh, restricted to uh, come up with an exact match for one of these names, and you'd have to type the exact full name uh, to be able to get it. Uh, so. Uh, Here's the typical results table uh, that you'll get from any of the searches. And if, like you see here, if you hover over the name, you get a small uh, box pop up with a brief description. Uh, if you click on the continue here, you'll go directly to the, the full data sheet. Uh, you can also, right from here, select to email the data sheet to yourself or to uh, anyone else. Uh, you also have from the results table the ability to compare more than one data sheet. Uh, as you see here, I have had already previously checked off this uh, 316 LSCQ and the Project 70 Plus Type 316. If you then click on the compare, what you'll get is instead of the actual data sheet, you will get the two alloys compared side by side on what their typical composition is. Uh, some relative corrosion resistance comparison, as well as some physical property and mechanical property comparisons. Uh, here they will typically be listed in the mechanical properties anyway as uh, ranges uh, as opposed to specific information, but it'll give you some idea of uh, the relative uh, mechanical property capability. Uh, you also see what specifications uh, the individual alloys are produced to and the forms that they've been manufactured in. So that's a uh, interesting feature if you want to be able to take a, a quick look at a couple of things head to head. Uh, but if we want to look at one in particular, you can just click on the name here on the results table and you'll go directly to the full data sheet uh, for that particular alloy. Uh, one thing to point out here at the top is you can have the properties on the data sheet reported in either the English units or if you switch to metric you will get the uh, more common SI units here on the properties that are shown within the data sheet. And then you can scroll down through and read all the information uh, that's available on the data sheet. You will see here we have a table that's listed as a link as well as some of the mechanical properties here are listed as links as opposed to the complete information. If you click on any of the links uh, you will see the information uh, that is there. If you want to print out a copy of the data sheet, I suggest you use the printer friendly data sheet option here. Uh, what that does, it will format the data sheet in such a way that it brings in all of those linked tables and charts so that you have a complete set of information to be printed. You can also, from the data sheet, email it uh, to yourself or to someone else. Uh, so that you could have it for future reference. Uh, if you are a registered user of our technical information site, you can also add this to the My Materials list, uh, which is a personalized list of uh, alloys that you have looked up and uh, want to save for future reference uh, and be able to get to them very quickly. 
You'll also see at the very bottom of the data sheets links to any of the technical articles in the library that specifically reference uh, this particular alloy and may provide some additional information uh, for your use. So that basically covers how you can get to one of our alloys using the alloy name search uh, and some things about what you can find on the results table as well as on the data sheet themselves. So thank you for your interest in our tutorial. Uh, we're always interested in your feedback on the tutorial itself or the site in general. If you click here on the request quote email us, you can click the other button here, fill out the appropriate fields, put in your, your comment, suggestion for improvement, or request for additional information. And we will process that as, uh, as soon as you click on the submit button. Uh, we thank you for your feedback or we will get back to you as soon as possible uh, with the information that you are looking for. So once again, thank you for your interest and check back for future tutorials covering other subjects.